Yo. Yo. So the dilemma is, I need to get oil. But the oil I'm getting is out of a drum, like a 55 gallon barrel. I don't have anything to put the oil in. So I'm gonna put it in my old AMS oil containers. We have wonderful weather. PA. Nothing a Red Bull can't fix. Maybe I'm not gonna it. The place for power strips. Snyder Performance Engineering. We gotta get some oil. Let's go. We're filling up Ames old jugs with Schaefer's. That's how you want to do it. These are empty. Schaefer's is going in. Always, always a killer day going down to SPE, Snyder Performance Engineering. Give those guys a follow. Check out their Instagram. If you need power stroke tuning, if you need anything for your power stroke, if you need anything for your Mustang, those guys are your answer. <clears throat> so anyways, I am switching from AMS Oil 5W40, which is the max duty protection right there. You can see six times more wear protection. I'm switching from that to Schaefer's Oil, Schaefer's 5W40 full synthetic. Um, reason being, Dan, the owner of Snyder Performance Engineering, highly recommends the Schaefer's. I mean, he builds thousand horsepower power strokes. That's his company. They specialize in high performance power strokes, Mustangs and whatnot. So when someone of that caliber recommends an oil for you to run in your engine, especially an engine that he specializes in, I'm gonna take that advice. I didn't have any problems with the Ames oil. I only ran it for practically one oil change. I had the OEM Ford oil in there in the beginning. And then I changed it at, uh, I don't know, a little over 10,000 miles to the Ames oil. Um, I know a lot of people were asking me about the Ames oil, you know, what I thought of it, what I, what I recommend it, what are my oil change intervals. My oil, oil change intervals that I would like to do, that I try to do, is every 10,000 miles. I run the truck a little harder than normal, meaning I tow with it um, commercially, and I drive it like an idiot, basically. So. I run the truck a little harder, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna change the oil at 10,000 miles. Some people say that's overkill, but that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> so the oil that they have down at SPE is actually in a uh, 55 gallon drum, and I needed containers, and I had my old AMS oil containers laying around. This is not AMS oil in here. It is Schaefer's. It's kind of weird that. I'm using an AMS oil bottle, but that's what I had laying around at the house to go down to get some fresh new oil. I also got new fuel filters and a Motocraft oil filter. Ford actually has a uh, really solid oil filter. So, so I have some work I gotta do. Um, if you checked out my last video, which was the dyno video, um, truck put out max power 614 horsepower to the rear wheels um, and that is with I'm at, I'm at the limit for my fuel filter so I'm going to change my fuel filters do an oil change and then we're going to throw her back on the dyno to see if we can get a little bit more power to see if that's really like a myth or or it's true because um, I mean obviously if you have a tune that's really sucking fuel 
and you have dirty fuel filters and the fuel can't get through properly, it might not make as much power. I mean, it sounds legit. It sounds like it might be true, but we're going to test it. Clean fuel filters. So I put 614 to the wheels down before with the dirty fuel filters. Now we're going to change this. We'll see what it's going to fit. switch the Schaefer's and we're gonna see how it is I will definitely post a follow-up video on the Schaefer's but I don't really know what I'm gonna be able to realize if it's good or bad maybe you can see a fuel mileage I know that Schaefer's claims you'll see a 4% fuel mileage increase which which is pretty good I mean if you're over the life of your vehicle if you have a 4% fuel mileage increase that's gonna save you some pretty good money in fuel um, and also if it can keep your engine running good without wearing bad you know that's that's also a huge benefit um so that's about it for today just a short little video informing you guys that i am switching oils i know i had a lot of comments on the ams oil video um how do i like it what do you think about it what are your oil change intervals i thought the ams oil stuff was was fine it just turns out that there might be a better oil out there for diesels and i'm taking that route when I was down at SBE today, we uh, talked about a lot of great stuff. You guys are definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button. Join the Platinum Built lifestyle. Join the Platinum Built family. Stay tuned for what we have. It's going to be an awesome, fun journey. I want you guys to experience it with us. I'm going to do some uh, like exclusive product review videos. Not review videos. I take that back. Not product review videos. I'm going to do some like exclusive product insight videos, if you want to say. Um, just some new products that SBE is getting ready to launch that it's going to revolutionize the 6.7 power stroke industry there is one company who kind of has the market cornered and this is going to disrupt that whole operation and it's going to be killer not only is the performance 10 times better it looks better and it's going to come in at a better price point so stay tuned for that product release um, I don't know when I don't really have an ETA on when I'm going to do that video but it's definitely a big deal if you have a six seven power stroke you're going to want to see that video <clears throat> but that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it this far you are awesome give this video a big thumbs up i'm going to the house i will see you guys on the next video peace